Welcome back to Africa 54. I'm Esther Gidu. You are in Washington. There is an ongoing debate in Rwanda over the authenticity of the country's poverty statistics. The government says poverty has dropped dramatically, but observers are skeptical, saying in reality, many Rwandans are destitute. Agent Uwimana has more. 79-year-old Gwanadani Ananias Semnyaruga, who lost his legs in a motorcycle accident, lives in utter poverty. I can even spend more than three days without eating, waiting until someone brings me some food. Semnyaruga still hopes for government assistance, but cannot get the help he needs. The authorities have told me that to get a house I need to have a plot of land, but I don't have land and I cannot get it. I'm asking the government to build me a house so I can at least have shelter for my remaining days on earth. The Rwandan government says extreme poverty in the country dropped dramatically by 2017 to 34 percent of the population compared to over 60 percent in 2007. But the Financial Times reports that the government has manipulated the poverty statistics allegedly to prop up Rwanda's president Paul Kagame. Kagame has dismissed the report. And I think it originates from uh, also the stereotypes, the, the prejudice that is always out there. It's as if Africans can't do fine. Africans have to be doing things that must be validated by others mm -hmm. somewhere. But we, we, we don't need any validation. We, we, we want to do things that benefit us. World Bank economist Agassi Machian acknowledged that Rwanda has made great strides since the 1994 genocide. For the last two decades, the average growth rate was about 7%, and uh, it was quite broad-based. So we see traditional sectors in Rwanda, like agriculture and others, you know, growing at, uh, at uh, quite a strong pace, but also Rwanda has seen emergence of new sectors. But Matian and others say the country still has a long way to go. Poverty uh, reduction was uh, relatively small between 2014 and 17, And as you recall, uh, those were difficult years for Rwanda. Uh, Rwanda suffered uh, enormous droughts in 2015 and 16. There was also slowdown in growth in 2015 and 16. An estimated 40% of Rwandans live on less than $2 a day. Ejen Uimana, for VOA News, Muhanga, Southern Rwanda.